it's time for a Carrie shower thought. Okay, so Baby Shark is the most viewed YouTube video ever, and it recently hit 10 billion views. That's interesting for three reasons. One, that's more than the world population, which means if you take the collective of all living humans on Earth, from children to the elderly to rural to urban, the average human out of all of them has watched Baby Shark 1.38 times. Two, 10 billion equals 10 to the 10th power. When a number is raised to the power of itself, you can think of that as a power tower of length two. In other words, Baby Shark's view count is 10 to the second tetration. Now, tetration is an operation that grows crazily quickly, whereas nine to the second tetration is roughly the population of the United States or the view counts of silly viral TikToks, 11 to the second titration is over 285 billion, which is a number so high it eclipses even the total sum to view count across all 17,000 videos of the most popular YouTube channel ever, T-Series. What about taking a number to the third titration, you might ask? You don't want to know the answer. Moving on, the third interesting point about Baby Shark hitting 10 billion is actually the main point of this video, precision and how social media uses precision to show numbers. So Baby Shark's 10.97 billion views puts it a company 3 billion views ahead of second place, Despacito, which is a margin of around 28%. Honestly, given how competitive and saturated the YouTube space is, 28% is a pretty sizable margin, so congrats to Pinkfong. But if we swap out the statistic we're measuring from view count to a particular different metric, Baby Shark's margin ahead of second place grows to 90%. That's right, according to whatever this mysterious metric is, Baby Shark has a result that is 10 times higher than all of its closest competitors, and 100 or more times higher than most other YouTube videos. What could this metric be? And how could it give Baby Shark and only Baby Shark such an earth-shatteringly large lead over everyone else? And I'm not talking about some meme joke metric like cringiness or kid-friendliness because A, five other videos in the top 10 fall into the same kid-friendly bucket, but they they're not boosted, and B, when I talk about this 90% margin, it is based on a quantitative, mathematically correct, measurable value. Cringiness, while real, is too nebulous to assign a concrete number like this one. Okay, enough beating around the bush. This mysterious metric is the number of additional views needed to result in a visible change to that video's view count on YouTube, anywhere aside from the video page itself. Yeah, that probably sounded pretty confusing, but once I explain it, it'll make sense, I swear. So if you go to any YouTube video page itself, you'll see the view count precisely down to the ones place. That is as much precision as YouTube could possibly offer, since there's no such thing as a fractional view. However, when a video's thumbnail pops up on the home page, or on the recommended feed of another video, or under a search query, or from the uploader's channel page, you don't see a precise view count by the video's thumbnail. Instead, YouTube truncates that number, so you aren't overwhelmed with too many digits on your screen. This truncation process is more interesting than it seems, so let's quickly dive into it. For any video under 1,000 views, YouTube just shows the number in full. Three-digit numbers aren't that scary after all. This means that for one-digit numbers, you get one significant figure. For two-digit numbers, you get two sig figs, and for three-digit numbers, you get three sig figs. Additionally, for these less popular videos, every time someone else gives that video one view, you would see the view count increase by one, even if you only saw it as a thumbnail in your recommended feed. You might see where I'm going with this now. Next up, between 1,000 and 9,999 views, YouTube will show you something like 4.2k views. As you can see, four-digit numbers only get you two sig figs, essentially decreasing its precision from before. The fanbase for this video would need to give it 100 more views before outsiders would see the truncated view count change from 4.2k, 4,200, to 4.3k, 4,300. And by the way, these numbers are all rounded down so that 4,299 turns into 4.2k. This is different from how Twitch displays follower counts, which are sometimes rounded up, like in the case of my friend Keaton Ellis having 1,681 followers but it displaying as 1.7k. Next, from 10k to 99k, YouTube treats the kilo as the fundamental building block for views, so we lose the decimal point. That means five-digit numbers get you two sig figs as well. But 
but in this case, viewers would need to give these videos 1,000 more views before outsiders would see the truncated view count increase from 73k to 74k. Next, the six digit view counts are where things get interesting. Based on the pattern we've seen from the last two levels, you might assume every large non-video page view count will have two sig figs from this point onward, but that would mean that videos in this range would display as 220k views or 450k views, always with a zero as the third digit. But let's face it, we're gonna see that zero no matter what. There's just no way to represent the number 458,241 without having at least three numerals. If we use the Chinese Wan, which equals 10,000, then there's a way we could do it, but American YouTube doesn't. What this all means is that the text showing view counts for these six figure videos will necessarily display numeral, numeral, numeral letter. And if we're gonna see that third numeral anyway, might as well make it useful and give us that third sig fig. And thus, videos between 100k and 999k actually have three sig figs, more than the previous two levels. From here, the cycle just repeats again, but with millions as the fundamental building block for views instead of kilos. Videos in the single millions need 100,000 extra views to register a change to outsiders. Videos in the tens of millions need 1 million extra views to register a change to outsiders. And videos in the hundreds of millions, well, they also need 1 million extra views because they have three sig figs instead of two. Anyway, the cycle repeats again for the billions, and this is how we finally return to Baby Shark, the subject material. See, all other videos in the top 10 have more than 1 billion, but fewer than 10 billion views. So they all have 10 digit view counts and two sig figs such as 6.4 billion. And viewers would need to give these videos 100 million additional views for outsiders to see their view counts increase from, say, 6.4 billion to 6.5 billion. But after all this, Baby Shark and Baby Shark alone stands tall at an 11 digit view count and still has two sig figs as the pattern indicates. But these are sig figs that are one order of magnitude higher than before. With Baby Shark exceeding 10 billion views, YouTube drops that so called decimal point of shame. Now it shows outsiders a view count truncated to the nearest billion. And that right there is the metric that the mysterious chart was showing. As soon as Baby Shark reached 10.0000 billion views last January, say it's 10 billion and one, its loyal viewer base would have to dump another 1 billion views on this video to have outsiders notice any change in its non-video page view count at all, to now say 11 billion views. Now, checking in with reality, Baby Shark's guaranteed to get there in a week or so, so that's not a big issue for them. But just think about what this means. Across this enormous platform that is YouTube, with its over 2 billion active users, 800 million uploaded videos, and 720,000 hours uploaded every day, there is just one singular video among this vast ocean that could get 975 million additional views and appear exactly the same to outsiders. 10B before and 10B after. For all those other commoner videos, 100 million additional views is all they need to let outsiders know, hey, my numbers are still ticking up, slowly but surely, and you can tell that even if you don't watch me. But to Baby Shark standing alone, it's just not enough. They need the big bill. Hello, okay, so this is a really brief addendum, but I created a spreadsheet to show how all the different websites truncate their numbers. So this one on the left is for YouTube view counts, which is what the whole video was about. And if you read it going left to right, you can see the number of sig figs generally goes 223, 223, 223. And what's interesting is that YouTube subscriber counts, so this is the same website, but a different metric, follows a different system where it's essentially 33333 three, 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 all the way through. And you can see this discrepancy if you find a YouTube channel like my friend Andrew's, which has a four digit number of subscribers, 2,720 something, but they represent it as 2.72K, which is the three sig figs of this column here. But if you look at one of his videos that has also a four digit number of views, like Birds Flocking Basics, the view count is just 4.9K. That's only two sig figs compared to three, because here there's only two here and there's three here. They're using five characters, two period seven two K, to represent a four digit number, like two seven two five or whatever it is. So they're providing less information with more characters. That's also why no other website does it that way. So on this spreadsheet, I've also included TikTok and Twitter, 
which follows a very simple 234234 system. And the way this works is that whatever alien or thousand you're in, it always puts a period at the end of the chunk and provides one more sig fig after that. The only exception is when you have a four digit number, TikTok and Twitter will provide the entirety of that number. And then finally I have Instagram, which is a little bit different. For the first four orders of magnitude, it's the same as TikTok and Twitter. But then after that, we have a 233 system. Sometimes the counts will have a period in them, but you'll only get a maximum of one digit after the period. But if you already have three digits before the period, such as 123 million or 123,000, you won't get the period or any more sig figs after that. Now, I wonder if there are any other websites out there that do something even different, but I'm not gonna track them all. This is just the four I have to sort of show you how these charts work. I've been wanting to post more aimless shower thought videos that have like no consequences just for the fun of it. So here's one of them. Thank you for watching and goodbye.